we're not actually homeless. We're um, we're up here in Oregon um, as part of a mission trip we're doing with our church. We're part of a church in Reading called Reading Christian Fellowship. Oh, that's and, where my brother lives. That's yeah, cool. Yeah, and, and we're part of the. Um, we're we're doing this with the high school group. We're um, we're trying to understand what it means to be homeless and what it feels like uh, because mm -hmm. tomorrow um, we're going to be actually uh, serving the homeless people with um, a particular ministry called Night Strike. Okay. And. And so we're trying to do this so that um, we understand what it what it means and what it feels like to be homeless person. How does so it feel? Have compassion on them. How does it feel? <laughs> like how's your um, experience been today? It really sucks because most people most people they just don't even look at us. They just just keep on walking and completely avoid looking at us. Some people we're lucky if people look at our sign. Basically. Really? We and and it's really rare when people do come and stop and talk to us. <laughs> Just because you're sitting there with a sign. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 the other sucky thing is that I realize that yeah I do this too whenever I see homeless people and so it's not like I'm different. Yeah. yeah. And so and so there is a real need here for homeless people and and so I suppose that now that we understand the problem now that um, I suppose we're going to uh, tomorrow we're going to help address it. Cool. Awesome. What are you guys doing to help address it? Oh, oh, we are, well, we're helping out with uh, the Night Strike Ministry tomorrow. Uh, going and serving and helping there. And then we're, cool. Yeah. Cool. What do you guys think? Is, is that a good solution? Uh, we all are actually. We are yeah, actually we're actually. Good. We're actually we're good. Good. Are you serious? Yes. Oh my gosh. Wow, uh, we're on camera. What the hell? Say hey. So how come you're homeless, guys? Uh. It's a good question. I'm not, it's not, I'm not saying that to be critical, but what's... It's kind of the path we chose. Yeah. I don't know, I lost my job, and now I'm homeless. Yeah. I worked at a safe way, and it just didn't fall through, and I ended up losing my job. And don't know. The choices that we've um, made okay. led us here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there like a... Where do you sleep? We sleep in an abandoned building. Oh, really? Yeah. Is there like a... Where do you eat? We eat at, we actually get we food from a church, yeah. Monday through Friday we get food from a church and on the weekends we have to figure it out ourselves. Yep. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, oh. We're actually planning on going up to Portland because Portland has better feeds there. <laughs> really? Yeah. They, they feed the homeless there. Every church does a feed actually every other hour. <coughs> seven days a week. That's great. Yeah. In Salem, there's like one or two churches. Maybe even really? Yeah. I mean, like Great Harvest is one of the places. I mean, like we what we do every morning when we get up. We, we pretty much go and get free samples all day. I saw yeah. you guys just getting chocolates. Yeah, yeah. we were at these candy, and then the Great Harvest over here. We just go there in the morning. So, are you hungry? Yeah. You are. Oh man. <laughs> So, can I ask you where your parents are? Oh, well, I'm actually 20. My grand, my parent, my dad lives in Glen Creek, Oregon, and my mom lives in Montana. It's tough when you lose your job. It really is. Yeah. My and when you can't find work. In town, but yeah. I don't know. I've been on the streets since I was 11. So yeah. They yeah. take drugs over the children. So my I'm mother about, actually doesn't really have a place to stay. She's staying with my stepdad at the moment, but like she's. Well, thanks for. Do you want to say what your names are? Or? You don't have to, but. My name is Dave. Okay. Tyler. Awesome. He's Josh. So you guys are teaching these guys what it's like, huh? And what it's really like to sleep on the streets or under things. Yeah, it's it's definitely a lifestyle. Yeah. It's a little different. Is there something about it that you like? It's. There's, it's an ultimate freedom. freedom. Yeah? It's an ultimate freedom, it's yes. Love freedom. freedom from what? Freedom from everything. There's, yeah. When you live on the streets, there are absolutely no rules and no laws yeah. you have to abide by. It. And you're not paying we're, for. Yeah. Where we're not we're having this. It's actually a felony to be there. Yeah. It's, it's, it's actually a felony camp, to be there. It's actually yeah. a felony yeah. to be there. So Which there's a little people, rebellion yeah. involved in a little bit, but you guys? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, so you could, you could get a job. Well, we've, we've tried though, yeah, we've tried. It is hard, it is hard. 
But you, who had a job at Safeway? I had a job. Oh, you? I had a job at Safeway for about a year. Okay. And they, they went from cutting my hours to finally I just didn't, mm -hmm. wasn't able to keep the job. Mm -hmm. they, <coughs> yeah. There was very strict policies and I tried to keep up on it and eventually I just, there was a day I came in late and lost my job. So do you guys dumpster dive? You guys didn't yet, no? We don't dumpster dive. You haven't do that, done that? Well, how do you eat? Actually, we do sometimes, because the New York pizza throws away whole boxes of pizza. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I heard that you can find good food that way. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Stores actually, like, all the food that has a sell-by date on it, mm -hmm. if they don't sell it, they have to throw it away. So yeah. It's still in boxes, yeah. and it's still good. Well, thanks for talking to me, guys. No problem.